clubbing is where you're so involved in what you're doing, you're not listening to the people around you. You're yeah. not interrupting. And so fubbing is where you're ignoring relationships in order to be digitally involved. And so when you don't talk to your kid and they need something, you fub them. If the kid doesn't talk to you, they fubbed you. And spell P-H-U-B uh, fubbing. And it's a common term uh, in the digital world. Yes, it's a, a a very common experience in the family, but you have to think about the connections in the family and how families use iPads and and smartphones and how early people get them. And so the problem is that as we get better at identifying who the sex addicts are and uh, the various varieties, because you have the classic sex addict. You have the rapid onset start uh, uh, early addict. Then you have kind of hybrids of both that had the sexual abuse and had the excessive religiosity and had all the things that were with it. So you have, you have all of those things. Uh, but what's happening is, is that those kids and most of them, we really started seeing them in the 2000s. And um, what's interesting is how this kind of all comes together because um, you all remember a game called Dungeons and Dragons. And Dungeons and Dragons started as a board game. Uh, you knew the people you were playing with, and that was part of the fun of it, is, is that you knew the people who were, you were gaming with. But in the year 2000, uh, what happened is the, um, the people who invented D&D, and I remember my son doing that, I mean, doing D&D &D as, as a teenager, and the manual for Dungeons and Dragons makes the SPSS package that we found in graduate school look like Casper Mouse. I mean, it is a sophisticated set of instructions, and that mastering that manual is quite an accomplishment. They decided to make, as a gesture to the world and their success, that they're going to make their platform, that Dungeons and Dragons platform, became open source in the year 2000. And the first game out of the gate was called Baldur's Gate. And Baldur's Gate has now just come out in, in version three, in which, parenthetically, you can be sexual with anybody who's playing with you online as part of it, what well, my medical director pointed that out to me. He says, yeah, and, and every character can be sexual with whoever they want in the game. Only they do it digitally. You don't know who you're having sex with. Anyway, the point is, is that Baldur's Gate came out and then a number of others came out. So the kids that are born around the year 2000, 1995, 2000, then it gained enough momentum. What happened in our culture is there was a turning point in 2014 to 2017. And the statistics that we've amassed is, is that this is but not about the pandemic. It's not about the pandemic. It's about that our culture shifted and pivoted major pivot between 14 and 17. And when it did, um, the first sign of it was in 14, when the National Education Association reported their scores. And about a third of the students' scores were terrible. They went down dramatically. They couldn't read, they couldn't add, they could do math, write, spell words, and they were stunned. After years of, of growing achievement, 
measured every year in the United States, suddenly there's a portion of our kids not doing well. 